everybody, welcome back to my channel, Makeup With V. Today I'm going to be doing a sports girl beauty haul. I have a big bag of goodies here full of sports girl beauty products and I've been waiting to do a haul like this for a really, really long time. A few of the products in there I won in a competition with sports girl beauty and other things that I've purchased myself. And most of them I've been really, really loving. There are only a few that I'm still a bit iffy about, but most of it is really, really great. I'm also wearing a lot of the products on my face right now and I'll point out the different products as I reveal them to you all. So let's get straight on into it. We're going to start off with the eyes and I'm going to begin with the products that I've already mentioned on my channel before and I'm going to breeze past them really really quickly because I've already talked about them. So the first being the Pretty as a Peach palette. Now I did a whole video on this palette comparing it to the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'll link the video below so you guys can go and check that out if you wanted to. But to just refresh your memory, here is the product. It's got 18 peach infused shades, a mixture of mattes, a mixture of shimmers. Really, really amazing palette and head over to the other video to see a full review. Next is the Shades of Summer palette. Now, I spoke about this quite a while ago on my channel. I think I used it in a tutorial. If I can find the video, I'll link it below. It's full of beautiful warm tone shades, mixture of mattes and shimmers, and it's the really, really affordable price of $19.95. So really, really great palette. It's more of an everyday palette for me and I really love it. Next, I wanna talk about another palette that I've got on my eyes right now and it's the Everything's Rosy Eye and Cheek Palette. Now this has a mixture of eyeshadows and a blush and also a bronzer. It actually says that there are two blushes but um, I wouldn't really use this one as a blush, I'd use that more as a bronzer. The shades that I've got on my eyes at the moment, I don't, I'm not wearing the blush, I'm wearing a different blush, which I'll talk to you about in a bit. But the shades that I've got on my eyes at the moment, I've got a mixture of Neptune and Pearl in my crease, and I've got Impulse on the outer corner of my eye, and I'll talk to you about the glitter in it a little bit. These shades are really, really consistent with the Peach palette. They're really pigmented, not as much fallout as I was expecting. Really, really great quality. And this is priced at $24.95. So it is a bit dearer, but I'm guessing that's because it's got the two blushes as well. Next up, we've got the Burgundy Eyeshadow Palette. This looks very similar to the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette. I've never tried the Kylie Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette, so I can't say whether it's a dupe or not. But having used these shades, the colors are very similar and they're really, really great quality. It's safe to say that I would probably use every single one of these shades. Um, they're warm tone, beautiful burgundies, pinks and warm tones are definitely my jam. You can also do a few t cool tone looks with these with um, the shade Goals Intense over here. They're quite cool tone so it is quite a versatile palette. I haven't used this one as much because I've been really obsessed with the other ones that I've already talked about. I can predict that I'll be using this a lot more. And this one retails for $19.95. Now there is a kind of sister palette to the Burgundy, which is the Bronze palette. This one I haven't been reaching for at all, mainly because of the color range. To be honest, a lot of the other palettes have similar shades in here, so I've never really reached for this. I've probably only used it once or twice, mainly for the gorgeous transition shades like these two. But this black one down here, I very rarely use black in any of my eye looks. I think um, I'm just too fair and it looks way too intense. Um, the orange does blend out really nicely, but again, I never really reach for it. So I'm going to give this one a pass. I might give it away to someone, one of my friends, to see if they like it when they try it out. The colors just aren't really my thing. Um, it retails for $19.95. So very affordable. If you like the look of the shades, try it out. Okay, so on to one that I also have on my eyes right now. This is the All That Glitters Glitter Face Palette. Now this hat is an all glitter palette with some really beautiful, exciting shades. 
retails for $24.95 and you get nine glitter eyeshadows. Glitter, it just says glitter face part, so super sparkly eye and cheek glitter palette. On my eyes today, I've got this pink, this hot pink right here. The shades don't have any names, I don't think. No, the shades don't have any names, so I'll just point to the one that I have on my eyes. It's this one right here. But this year, I want to try something different, be a bit more adventurous with my makeup, and go for hot pink. So as soon as I saw that glitter, to be honest, I didn't really look at any of the other glitters. I just saw this one, and I was like, this is perfect. I have to try it out. Now, stupid me, I didn't actually get a glitter glue. So I've just used Vaseline and then popped the uh, glitter on top of my eyelids. It hasn't actually worked that well. It's clumping up quite a bit. So I'm definitely going to have to get some glitter glue and try it out on my eyes again, just to see whether it was the Vaseline not actually the glitter that was making it clumpy. I've never used glitter on my eyes before, ever. So this is a new thing for me. I thought it would be a fun look to try and see how it is. So having been the first time that I've used this and I don't actually have the proper utensils like glitter glue, I think it's done pretty well. So I will definitely try it again with glitter glue and let you guys know how it is. So they are all of the eyeshadow palettes and overall the quality is really, really good for the price. So I would actually recommend any of the eyeshadow palettes. I know there are many, many more that are in store. Chuck a comment below if you've tried one of the palettes that I haven't mentioned and you've been really loving them and you want to see a video on them so I can go out and purchase them because they're so cheap. It's something that isn't a huge hassle. You don't have to worry about, oh, am I going to have to after pay that, am I going to have to pay that back installments like a lot of the other high-end eyeshadow palettes are. So yeah, if you've tried one that you've loved and you think that I should give it a go, definitely let me know. Okay, on to the rest of the makeup that I have on my face today. So we will move on to the base. For my contour slash bronzer, I tried out the Coco Bronze Coconut Scented Bronzer and it is Oh, it is a cream bronzer in a little stick like this. I'm usually not a fan of these because my skin is really, really oily. So I don't really want to be putting any cream products on because that just makes my skin look even oilier than it already is. But I really, really love this. It blended out so, so well. It blended out a lot easier than I was expecting. A lot of the times when I just kind of draw um, a contour or a bronzer on from the stick, it lifts your foundation and it just messes up your act the actual base. But this one was great. Really, really easy to blend. I did use a damp beauty blender, not a dry beauty blender, and it worked pretty well. And this retails for $12.95. It is a really, really warm, orangey kind of bronzer. So if you're really, really pale, I don't know how well this would go for you. But because I do have a bit of a tan at the moment. Oh. Thank you very much. I do have a bit of a tan. You might not be able to tell on camera because the camera makes me look really, really white. But that's all right. So yeah, if you're really pale, I'm not sure how well this will go for you. But if you've got a bit of a tan and you need a little bit of extra something, something to bronze you up, this is really, really great. And $12 is amazing. So affordable. Another bronzer that I've already spoken about on my channel is the Bronze Me Bronzer. You guys know I love this. You've heard me talk about this. $14.95, huge pan. Great color, doesn't look muddy or isn't hard to blend out. Blends out like a dream. So yeah, amazing. Love this. This cute little thing here, very similar to the Too Faced packaging for their bronzers and blushes and highlighters, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't have any of them, I've just seen them. But uh, this is the Heartbreaker Baked Blusher. And this is what? it looks like inside really really cute packaging i love the pink reflective on here i popped it on the apples of my cheeks and because it's so pigmented i had to go over with my powder again to kind of blend it in because it was so pigmented so definitely a little goes a long way with this but other than that it's a really it's a shimmer so make sure um it does kind of emphasize all the texture on your cheeks so um, just bear that in mind. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. The pink does kind of come out nice and true on the cheeks. It does look a little bit dark in the pan, 
but it definitely is a pink. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. This is the first time I'm trying it, so I'll see how it looks at the end of the day. Um, but other than that, first impressions, really like it. On to a lip product which I actually hadn't tried. I went for a kind of darker burgundy pink on my lip instead of a nude. But this is the Powder About It Lipstick in Rosy. It's got really, really nice sleek packaging and it's this gorgeous nude rosy tone. And it says it's matte, but it's going on really, really creamy. It looks pretty creamy to me. It doesn't look matte. Maybe it dries after a while, but it's a really gorgeous everyday color. Um, like I said, I haven't tried it, so I'm not sure how long it stays on the lips, but I will give it a go during the week and I'll let you know. And this retails for $9.95. Now, the last thing on the list, which is probably my favorite thing out of everything. Oh, wait, that's a big call. I do like a lot of the eyeshadows. This is one of the favorite things among the many favorite things from this haul. This is the On The Glow Mermazing Palette and it is a highlighting palette. Look at that gorgeousness. Now, these two colors on camera, they look white. They definitely are not white. Um, they are a really beautiful kind of, sh obviously a shimmer because it's a highlight, duh. But both of them have different reflex. So this one down here has a blue reflex to match this one here. And this one has a pink reflex. And I've got it on my face right now. I'm not sure if you can see if the light's hitting me right. Ooh. To be honest, I haven't touched... Actually, no, I've used this one. I haven't touched this one because this is a bit, ooh, a bit scary for me. I'm not that um, out there with my makeup. I might be in the future, but at the moment... Oh, I haven't touched that one. Or this one really because I don't really like a blue reflex. I feel like it washes me out. But these two are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Really, really beautiful. And they last all day. I just can't believe how well all of these sports girl products, they're just so long lasting for the price. This one retails for $14.95. And I'm so, so happy with the product. Really, really love it. And the packaging is just beautiful. Look at it. It's like white with pink and bluey and purpley reflect. Oh, it's so mesmerizing. It's amazing. So that concludes the Sports Girl Beauty haul. Collectively, so affordable. The quality of the product is amazing and they're really easily accessible as well. Whenever I go into Sports Girl, I always have a look and they've always got a lot of stock in and I know people are buying them because they're such popular products, but it's always good to, don't you just hate it when you go into Mecca or Sephora and you ask for a product and they come back, they're like, no, we're out of stock. No, we're out of stock. It's just the most disappointing thing, especially if you go to Sephora, because Sephora is really far away from me. Like it's a hike to get to Sephora for me. So when I get there and the product isn't there or they've sold out, it's just so disappointing. I'm really impressed with all of the products. I think that the only thing that I wasn't super impressed with was the bronze palette. And that was because of the color range and also a few of the shimmers were a bit gritty for me. So out of all of the eyeshadow palettes, like only one of them not being that great. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Overall, I would suggest Sports Girl Beauty to everybody. It's a really great way to introduce yourself to makeup, have a play around without breaking the bank. And I'm really happy that it's really accessible and really affordable for everybody. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out my Instagram if you want to see some updates. It is the holiday season and I'm doing updates every day for my uh, skincare advent calendar from Kiehl's. So make sure to head over to my Instagram to check that out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!